All right, Shalawan, Shalawan, Shalawan. A beloved feeling happy today, man. And well rested. I want to give all praises to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh. There was only begun, son, Yahweh Shah, man. A beloved on his way to work. So if you hear some noises, that's what it is. And um, Shalawan to the Shadis, man, the virtuous daughters of Yahshua Allah. And to the brothers in the new covenant, to the 12 tribes scattered abroad. Feeling good, man, through the spirit. On a side note, I know some of y'all thinking I'm forcing this voice. This is really how I talk. But, like I said yesterday, I wanted to uh, do a lot of lessons for our women in the nation as well. Um, it's tying in the whole vibration together. Because, as usual, it's enough of this one west blunt grunt caveman vibration it ain't no seasoning no no sexy vibes and righteousness no kingdom vibes and righteousness it ain't nothing in righteousness man like what we doing bro and as usual this world doesn't exist so even though a lot of you beloveds get edified y'all gonna be like oh well nah man don't even don't even think about the excuse beloved so anyway Let's get Ruth chapter 3 verses 1 and the point is 11 because Ruth was a total shout -out. All right, sweet. She was harmonious. She had aspiration. She was wonderful. She was trustful. Why? Because she feared the Lord, the boss. All right. And she was youthful, man. Well, I think she was youthful. Now, then Naomi, her daughter, her daughter-in-law said unto her, all right, my daughter, Shall I not seek rest for thee? Hold on, let's do it getting over, man. That it may be well with thee. Alright. So the beloved one. So the beloved one was seeking rest for her. And uh and now is it not so like and now is not Boaz of our kindred, man. So I gotta remember the children of Israel, for context's sake, when you go back into Numbers 35, we conquered uh the Moabites and I believe this is when the the, the, the talking ass or the donkey alright was talking to uh, Balan so for context sake cause some people some people believe that uh, Ruth was a, was a Gentile which you know that, that doesn't make any sense why would the Heavenly Father give a whole book to a Gentile I mean nothing's impossible but anyway with whose maidens thou wast, behold, he uh, he went with barley tonight in the threshing floor. Wash thyself, therefore, and anoint thee, and put thy raiment upon thee. All right, so our beloved put on some clothes. Hold on, let me see what this is. And get thee down to the floor, but make not thyself known unto the men. So be low key, all right, move smooth. Move like a dove and harmless, no, harmless like a dove, wise as a serpent. All right, learn how to gather information and learn how to blend in like Assassin's Creed. Let me see. Until he shall have done eating and drinking. Now y'all remember, I gotta remember, when, you, when people drink a lot, Israelite or heathen, why do you think they call it a uh, drinking spirit? Because just like it says in Edris, when it goes into wine, which is uh, also contains alcohol, one of the three, uh, was it the three wise men? It was Zub Zubabel, uh and two other beloved ones, man. But one of them said wine basically make man fight. It causes them to uh, speak all of their thoughts. Y'all go read first Edris chapter three and chapter four on that, man. And remember in that same chapter in chapter four one of the beloved ones said what women was more powerful than wine in uh in kings man so hold on y'all and it shall be when he lieth down that thou shalt mark the place where he shall lie and thou shalt go in and, un and uncover his feet and lay thee down so uncover his feet and then lay down and he will tell thee 
what thou should do, right? So the beloved one was setting up a plan. And she said unto her, All that thou sayest unto me I will do. And she went down unto the floor and did according to all that her mother her mother in law bade her. And I got a question rhetorically for uh a lot of you Israelites in the truth, man. Because a lot of y'all you come up with these uh low vibrational satanic doctrines saying that there's no ease in the truth, man. When there's literally whole books about our Ashas uh, uh pleasing the most high. That doesn't make any sense, man. And when Boaz had eaten and drunk and his heart was merry, he went to lie down at the end of the heap of corn and she came softly and uncovered his feet and laid her down and it came to pass at midnight that the man was afraid and turned himself and behold a woman lay at his feet and he said who are thou so who are you and she answered i am ruth thy handmaid spread therefore thy skirt over thine handmaid all right the extremity for thou art a near kinsman and he said and i had to favorite this verse man I got a, on the side note, beloved ones, uh, one of these days I might have to go into the history, you know, I might have to go into uh, a little bit more detail because in this new covenant, we have to uh, focus on bringing all the body together. All right. And uh, we got to move forward from the same thing, you know, arguing about beef 40 years ago and exposing camps this truth is uh is deeper than exposing camps let's actually learn our history let's actually go into the actual books on the side but yeah he said blessed be thou of the lord yahweh or it says my daughter man for thou has showed more kindness right so she was a beloved one in the latter end so she didn't fold Ruth never folded into uh, peer pressure, tribulation. Ruth was a total queen. She was a shouting. Shouting. Every woman is not. 99.9% and 99.9% .9 of men are not even in this bracket, man. Especially when you keep the God of Israel, the God of Israel's commandments, man. See, a lot of you women, you think just because you got a hair wrap in a dress that makes you virtuous. But don't even read 1 Corinthians 11 and 16 when Paul tells you we don't even have a law for the women to even do that. But yeah, so she showed more kindness in the latter end than at the beginning. And as much as thou followest not young men, right? So she don't follow men, whether poor or rich, man. All right. Ruth was a beloved one. And, um. Like I always say, you, have, you always have righteous sexual attraction. Then you have wicked sexual attraction, man. It's two sides to the coin, man. And now, my daughter, fear not. I would do to thee all that thou requirest. Requirest, so like it. But all the city of my people doth know that thou art a virtuous woman. But she a virtuous woman. It didn't say... She was getting beat over the head. I, it didn't say, oh, she wasn't asking, uh, uh, asking any questions. All right, she wasn't uh, a damn city girl, none of that. And now it is true that I am thy near kinsman. How beard there is a kinsman nearer than I, man. So let's go into the word virtuous. So virtuous, it means what? A woman that's she has wealth, see strength. A lot of you guys think virtuous mean uh scallywagness. No, 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 that's that's a lot. Yeah. A lot of you guys think virtuousness means she's weak or just retarded or something. But uh virtuous also mean might, power, she has substance, she's worthily, reliantly. Alright. So yeah, man. So Ruth was definitely a mighty woman. She was definitely a beloved one. All right. So I wanted to bring that out because that was on my spirit. Again, how to be a daughter of Yahweh. 
read the book of Ruth. You got Susanna, Judith, you got Priscilla. It's all kinds of beloved ones, man. But with that being said, I want to give an all praises to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, who is the only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah, man. Peace and blessings and uh, shalom.